a day. Welcome to Weekend Edition. I'm Valerie Maige. So glad you could join us. The mounting anxiety this past week over the North Korean missile threat sparked an emotional rally for peace. Dozens gathered at the Chief Kapua statue, while hundreds of passerby signaled their support with honks of their car horns. Nestor Lacanto reports. The rally was held on the eve of the possible attack. Organized by Independence for Guahan and other groups, it was also meant to draw attention to the people of the land, the Chamorros. When you talk about Guam, you're talking about our children, our families, and our home. And that uh, we, you know, I mean, that's us. And so for all of our families, I think everybody should know that. And I, I'm hoping that the world leaders can, you know, um, have some influence to, to bring peace for, for Guam and for all of us. Vice Speaker Therese Terlahi had made an impassioned plea to cut short legislative session on this day so that lawmakers could attend the rally. Also in attendance was UOG professor Dr. Michael Bivakwa. Our purpose now at a moment like this is when they're turning, when the world turns its attention to us, that they don't see us as just a military base, that they don't see us as just sort of victims of circumstance, but that they see us as people who have been asking for a long time for a chance at sort of determining our destiny. Rebecca Gerritsen said she showed up after only recently learning of the struggle for Chamorro self-determination. For me, I feel a certain responsibility to these histories, to these lands, to these people as a person that's not from here. And so I stand in solidarity with the Chamorro community. Um, I stand in solidarity for independence specifically, but also self-determination generally. And Sabina Perez, who heads another group, Protehi Litekzan, that hopes to block a live fire training range at Retidian Point on Anderson Air Force Base said their cause is synonymous with a cause for peace. We believe that the military presence here is actually increasing uh, the visibility uh, as a target, as Guam as a target, and I don't see the relocation of U.S. Marines coming here as increasing our security. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Lacanto. The Guam Department of Education has high hopes for the coming year. Issa Baza has more on the top priorities of the agency charged with educating over 30,000 of our island's youth. New students, new teachers, and new goals for the coming year. With school finally back in session, Superintendent John Fernandez has a list of priorities he's hoping to accomplish. First on the list is school facilities and the need for a master facilities plan to address the district and some key facility concerns. If we can get Simon Sanchez uh, move forward in the, the full renovation, and if we can address some of the, the long-standing issues that we were able to get resources from the legislature and the governor to address, that'll keep us at least in a stable position and hopefully the master's facilities plan will drive a further investment into our school facilities. Second on the list of priorities is curriculum and the need to continue the transition towards standard-based instruction, curriculum and grading. We're at a, at a point where we're having a lot of discussion about standard-based grading, kind of finishing off you know, the, the work that was started uh, a few years ago. Um, there's a lot more discussion now about Guam history and about, uh, you know, where the, the role of the history and decolonization and where that fits into the curriculum. And so what I'd hope to, to see is that we complete, uh, you know, the, the or, or try to move forward with the tail end of this whole piece, which is to develop, uh, move towards standard-based grading and then make sure that we're incorporating, you know, regional, local issues into our curriculum. And finally, Fernandez said the third main priority for the department is school safety. You heard about cameras on school buses, you've heard about drug sweeps in our schools, I really, you heard about emergency response procedures in light of North Korea. Uh, I think we need to kind of frame that a little bit uh, better for all the, for our general public to understand what we're trying to do to keep our schools, campuses safe. While these are some of the main issues the department hopes to address this year, Fernandez said other priorities include managing finances and easing off of the department's high-risk designation with the U.S. Department of Education. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Issa Baza. The Mayor's Council of Guam held a special meeting this week, and it was there where officials from the Guam Memorial Hospital asked for their help in improving the state of patient care. It's been more than 26 years since the Guam Memorial Hospital has seen capital improvement projects, and with the potential of securing $125 million in funding, hospital officials came to the Mayor's earlier this week seeking their support. We hope that, that you could uh, support this, this effort, <coughs> this modernization effort, because not only will it be more sustainable for GMH, um, it will also provide for patient outcome and 
the community here expects um, a higher level of, of uh, patient care. GMH Chief Financial Officer Benita Manglonia broke down the numbers and explained where the $125 million would be going exactly. According to Manglonia, $45 million is for the demolition and rebuilding of the Z-Wing, $37 million for new equipment, furniture and fixtures, $12 million for a new parking facility, $6 million is for fixing the 30-year-old electrical panel, $5 million to fix the leaking roof, and $20 million to update IT. Bill 141 and 142 together would raise the business privilege tax by 0.75 percent and would allow the government to secure $125 million in funding for the projects at the hospital. GMH Administrator Peter John Camacho also asked the mayors for support, putting recent events into perspective. We always do our best to be, you know, to be ready to respond, in, in, and I'm sure at GMH and the GRMC, all the, you know, everybody there is mindful of what we need to do. But in a disaster, where would we put all of these patients? In a disaster of that magnitude, for mm -hmm. war, and, you know, we don't know what kind of bomb it is, nuclear or whatever, but. Should it come to our area, what are we going to do? How do we respond to our community? So it's not just about, you know, who's got the prettier hospital or who's got more of this or more of that. It's about being ready as a community to be able to respond to our community's needs. They are nonprofits aimed at helping women and their families pick up the pieces and start their lives over after falling victim to sexual assault or family violence. Tonight, we shine a light on their missions and how local companies are stepping up to help and how you can too. Crystal Paco reports. Women and their children who fall in victim to sexual assault and family violence often end up at the Ali shelter. A lot of our victims are starting from scratch. They leave their home with nothing. Their partners, their perpetrators are usually the sole providers for their families, so these women are literally starting from, from ground zero. Arya Tagudin is a social worker at the Ali Women's Shelter. She sees firsthand the struggles of the families who come through their doors and how long it takes to pick up the pieces. Our contract allows us to, for them to stay 45 days, but we do allow for extensions. Realistically, it takes about four to five months for a family to successfully transition out into safer housing placements. Earlier this week, GTA and Ambrose Inc. presented donations to the Ollie Shelter and victims' advocates reaching out. GTA provided two laptop computers and free high-speed internet connectivity as well as $1,000. Ambrose Inc. joined in on the worthy cause and donated cases of Huggies diapers, baby wipes, and infant formula. Vero Board President Judy Wampat. I tell you that these uh, donations would definitely go a long way. And it will be for direct services. It does not go into salaries or rent or any of those things. It will go strictly to the victims. The hope is that women can work on their resumes with the computers and Internet and that their children will also have access to a computer to work on their homework assignments. It's these often forgotten essentials that grant money just doesn't cover. Guam Coalition Against Sexual Assault and Family Violence's Cynthia Cabot grateful for GTA's continued partnership. In the past, GTA donated cell phones to keep victims and their advocates connected. We are certainly provided um, the lifelines to victims and survivors, to their advocates, as well as for ready ad, uh, access to advocates who can connect to their victims to continue the services that they need. So here, no doubt, you know, you've created the lifeline to the services. You're providing additional support that we cannot provide with many of our grants, you know, like uh, the uh, items that you see here. While technology is often portrayed as the enemy, GTA Director of Marketing and Communications Kamia Durking says it doesn't have to be. Durking says they want to empower victims with their services and keep them connected to the ones they love. It makes technology look like it's the culprit and that it's, um, I think, adding to the perpetrators as a way for them to continue to have that power over. But we also need to remember that um, technology is going to be here to stay. So instead of looking at it as um, something negative, we need to figure out how we can use it to empower our victims and also that just to keep them safe. If you want to donate to any of these causes, keep these things in mind. A lot of people would like to donate clothing, which is which is great. We do accept a lot of donate, donated um, clothing items. However, for those who 
come to us without any undergarments. We ask that if they would like to donate gift cards to Ross or Kmart, those, those would be greatly utilized. We could buy um, the appropriate sizing for the children and women who don't have underwear who come. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco. And with regional headlines, let's check in with our friends in Saipan. Here's KSPN2 News. Hop a day, Guam. Here's what's making headlines in the CNMI. We're very, very pleased and relieved with this verdict. Jodan Tai Ting Fong is found guilty on two felony counts, aggravated assault and battery and robbery. Assistant Attorney General Terry Tenorio is the prosecuting attorney for this case. She says she is thankful for the jury in finding justice for a woman who has experienced a large amount of suffering. But the jury has sent a message that justice is, is deserving of all and everybody is deserving of equal protection. During the four-day-long trial, it was found that the victim was severely affected by Jodan Tai Ting Fong's attack. In July of 2016, he beat her up so badly she was knocked out. She lost one tooth and two others were severely broken and today, one year later, she has headaches and memory problems. Tenorio says the extent of her injuries were shocking and didn't realize the victim was this severely affected until she was on the stand. It was not brought to our attention until actually the victim was testifying on the stand, the extent of her injuries. If you saw her testify in court, she clearly did not even understand or comprehend some of the questions. Tenorio says due to the mental disability the victim was at and because she was the victim of a brutal attack, she was brave in coming forward and testifying. She has suffered um, tremendous amount of injuries um, and debilitating and the courage that she has displayed in coming forth and the tenacity in, in continuing forward in her seeking justice um, de demonstrates a lot of courage. Second chair on the prosecuting aside, AAG Robbie Glass says he's also happy with the conviction and says it's a win for the CNMI. So this is for the community. This is what it's about. Um, it's about bringing justice for our victims, but it's about keeping our community safe here. Um, and justice was served today. That's your KSPN 2 News Roundup. For more, check out SaipanTV.com. I'm Sherry Riggs reporting. And stay tuned next on Weekend Edition. We'll rehash some of the big stories of the past week and still to come, the Guam Crime Stoppers report. There are more ways to experience KUAM News than any other source on Guam. Download the KUAM News app for your Apple or Android device for 24-7 news, sports, videos, weather, streaming, KUAM radio, and important news alerts. And stay connected at home with Guam's first app for Apple TV. All available now from the App Store. This is Tabby. Tabby. Tabby's service providers, it &E. This allows her to walk on campus without having to rely on Wi-Fi. Hey, Abby. Abby. Hey, I think she got it &E student plan just like you. I love how affordable their plan is. I'm so glad I switched to it &E. What? Get up to 5 gigs a month for just $30 and the first three months free at it and &E. At Shell, it's about offering more than just fuel. It's about providing service to people. From hot coffees to warm welcomes, from clean bathrooms to fresh food, we're on a mission to make you leave happier than when you arrived. So whatever your journey, we're here. Welcome to service. Welcome to Shell. Serving the islands for over 30 years. Share your story at Shell Foodies Guam on Instagram and Facebook. Hashtag Station Stories. Hashtag Shell Guam. Have you gotten paid yet? That's the premium automatic insurance deduction plan from Calvo's Insurance. Paid simplifies your home and auto insurance. No down payment. No more long lines. And you can stretch your payments up to 12 months. Paid is convenient. It deducts from your payroll, your checking account, or your credit card. With Paid, you get up to 65% off your car insurance and enjoy lifestyle club discounts. Life can be easier when you get paid. Call Calvo's Insurance today and save on your home and auto insurance. Chuck E. Cheese's Guam is not all fun and games. Our pizza is delicious with the freshest toppings, oven baked to order. Try the fresh salad bar, sandwiches, and don't forget our mouth-watering wings. Come and eat at Chuck E. Cheese's Guam. The Down Syndrome Association of Guam exists to support families of individuals with Down Syndrome.
We're a group of parents who have children with Down syndrome and know the joys and challenges of raising them. For more information about the health, development, and education of a child or adult with Down syndrome, please contact Vicki Ariola at 472-6114. Hyundai Summer Clearance Event is happening now. At Guam's Best Dealership, Cars Plus, and Mighty. With financing as low as 1.99%. There's no better time to drive a new Hyundai Accent, ranked highest in initial quality, starting at just $11,995. Or the new Hyundai Elantra, starting at $16,995. SUV lovers, check out the new Hyundai Tucson, starting at $19,995. Plus, every new Hyundai gets Guam's Best Warranty, 10 years, 100,000 miles. It's our Hyundai Summer Clearance Event. Going on now at Cars Plus and Mighty. Cars Plus, driven by you. Watch Health Check with Nurse Jen Artero every Tuesday for community health information, advisories, and news you and your family can use for leading a healthier lifestyle. Health Check during KUAM News Healthy Living. Health Check with Nurse Jen is presented by Island Cancer Center. Guam's favorite, I-94, Andy and Mariah in the AM. All right, Guam's favorite, I-94, Jackie, Guam's favorite, I-94. Hafadeh and welcome to Weekend Edition. This is Rehash, where we recap the big stories of the week. Nick, what you got going on this week? Well, of course, in the last week, the big story has really circulated around the globe. North Korea and Guam. Guam caught in the crosshairs of just the argument back and forth between President Donald Trump and the leader of North Korea, Kim Jong-un. Unfortunately, after we were told back and forth from uh, Homeland Security officials that there's no uh, change to the threat level on Guam, uh, fortunately, Kim Jong-un walking back on that threat and saying that after reviewing the plan to carry out a missile attack on Guam, they're going to hold off for now and watch what the next steps that America might take. So right now, it's all good. And I'm actually going to be covering a military exercise coming up at the end of this month, so I know there are some concerns on whether that will also raise tensions once right. again. Uh, as for myself, I covered a first day of school, thousands of students going back to the classrooms, and so it went pretty smoothly, but there were some issues. I know at GW, they had 20 air conditioning units that were out, so uh, that was an issue for some teachers and students, and of course, Simon Sanchez High School, racing against the clock to get those classrooms open. Mm -hmm. um, some students' classes were even held in the library, the cafeteria and uh, one even under a tree uh, the first day uh, but Fernandez superintendent John Fernandez confirmed that at least the, the classroom under the tree they just had a broken air conditioning system it wasn't because of the occupancy permit that they didn't receive until 10 a.m. that day but like I said officials racing against the clock so they received that occupancy permit so all students now have a classroom will see how these issues develop throughout the school year and happy first day of school of everyone yeah. Yes. Myself, uh, it was very interesting, actually very, exci very exciting for myself personally as a musician. Got to meet uh, Grammy Award winner Yvonne Elliman, but not in the best, uh, the best way. She got arrested over the, uh, over the week. When she arrived on Guam from Hawaii, she got picked up. Her and her husband, Alan, got picked up for weed and ice. And uh, we spoke to Mount Carmel School. Uh, and they, they confirmed the show will go on. She was released in court, uh, <coughs> despite prosecutors asking for a $10,000 cash bail, saying that she was a flight risk. Um, you know, she, uh, defense argued otherwise, and they agreed on a $10,000 performance bond. So she will be stuck on Guam for quite some time. Her first court hearing won't be until September, but mm -hmm. she will be appearing on stage, and that's tonight at the Dusitani. Again, we did speak with some parents. And they are concerned. I mean, this is a, it's a benefit concert for a Catholic school, a Catholic education. So it does kind of leave a bad taste in your mouth. But we are assured that the concert will go on without a hitch. And again, a Dusitani. So again, we might see more of uh, a Von Element and her song, If I Can't Have You, I Don't Want Nobody, Baby. I think I've heard that yeah, so much on the radio. Going around <laughs> a lot of jokes going A lot of jokes. And the song uh, put together. The but. song put together. So we're hearing that song on heavy rotation on the radio. So 
All right. Well, busy and interesting week for all of us. Um, a fishy situation down at the Haganya Boat Basin this week. And um, I talked to a lot of local fishermen who are really frustrated. Um, there were some dead atulai that were found earlier this week, and they're just really confused as to why that's happening. They pointed out a net that's been there for eight days, um, and they're just really wanting for lawmakers and regulatory agencies to step in and give them some answers because it's really frustrating for them. So. That's pretty much what's happening on my end. Um, thanks so much for watching. And for any news tips that you might have, email us at reporters at KUAM.com. Hyundai Summer Clearance Event is happening now. At Guam's Best Dealership, Cars Plus and Mighty. With financing as low as 1.99%. There's no better time to drive a new Hyundai Accent, ranked highest in initial quality, starting at just $11,995. Or the new Hyundai Elantra, starting at $16,995. SUV lovers, check out the new Hyundai Tucson, starting at $19,995. Plus, every new Hyundai gets Guam's Best Warranty, 10 years, 100,000 miles. It's our Hyundai Summer Clearance Event. Going on now at Cars Plus and Mighty. Cars Plus, driven by you. This is Tabby. Tabby. Tabby service providers it &E. This allows her to walk on campus without having to rely on Wi-Fi. Hey, Abby. Hey, I sent you to it and sit upon just like you. I love how affordable their plan is. I'm so glad I switched to it &E. What? Get up to 5 gigs a month for just $30 and the first three months free at it and &E. Guam's Auto Appearance Specialist, Elegant Reflections, has been providing the automotive industry with professional detailing and car care products at its highest quality from complete detailing, full interior detailing, exterior detailing, headlamp restoration, hand washing, seat and carpet shampoo, engine degreasing, undercarriage cleaning, paint sealant, fabric protection, paint oxidation removal, and so much more. Visit us at our new location. Call 646-5555 for an appointment. Elegant Reflections, Guam's Auto Appearance Specialist. Over 20 years of experience. How do you show up? Do you just bring it? Or do you bring it all? Focus. We gotta go. Third row, like a pro. Step up to GMC with 15% below MSRP on all 2017 Acadia SLT models. That's nearly $7,000 below MSRP on this Acadia. Visit Autospot GMC today. Health, home, and lifestyle. News and information on wellness, health, balance, and fitness. Join Isabaza on Tuesdays for instant motivation, inspiration, and important health news from around our community. Presented by Paradise Fitness. Exercise is medicine. You want to feel connected and one with your island and your world. Informed, included, and inspired. So, no matter where you are, when important things happen, we're here at all hours on every screen of your life. We are the KUAM News Team. We investigate and inform. Remember, don't break yourself, I'll check yourself. We're part of the community. We keep you aware of what's happening all around you even protect you from harm. We're Guam's number one source for news, entertainment, and information. And we're everywhere you need us to be. No matter where you are, when you're with KUAM, you're, you're home. home. On Wednesday, August 16th, at around 9.30 in the morning, officers within the Dededu Precinct Command responded to the Kampadius Mo, the People's Bazaar No. 1. According to the police reports, it was reported to the officers that the rear door was found unsecured to the People's Bazaar No. 1. Four store entrances were damaged and found unsecured. The owners of the stores confirmed that numerous electronic and cell phone accessories were taken. Access to the People's Bazaar No. 1 was temporarily closed so that GPD CSIs could process the scene. 
on the Guam Crime Stoppers and the Guam Police Department is reaching out to the community for their help. If you have any information about this crime or any other crime, please call Guam Crime Stoppers at 477-HELP. That's 477-4357. You can also send a text to 486-HELP. That's 486-4357. You can also submit information of a crime through our webpage at guam.crimestoppersweb.com or call the Guam Police Department at 475-8615-6 or 7. Guam Crime Stoppers wants to remind the public that we do not use caller ID and you do not have to leave your name. You can receive a cash reward of up to $1,000 if the information provided leads to the arrest and conviction for the person or persons responsible for this crime or any other crime. back happy with Triple J. For a limited time, receive a free $500 Kmart gift certificate on selected new vehicles from Triple J Auto Group. Get the car, the savings, and the supplies just in time for school. Zero down at 1.9% financing on top of the class deals like the Kia Sportage at only $161 per paycheck or the Mazda CX-3 at only $145 per paycheck or an all-new Ford F-150 for only $266 per paycheck. Get pre-approved instantly at TripleJGuam.com. Trade-ins welcome. Some conditions apply. Stop by today at Triple J Auto Group. Customers first. If you get nervous about having dental treatment, you're not alone. An estimated 35 million adults experience anxiety or nervousness at the simple thought of visiting the dentist. As your dentist, I strive to make your visit as painless or pain-free as possible. And I frequently tell my patients that in the 21st century, if we can give you medicines to put your tooth asleep or medicines to take an infection or toothache away, we can surely give you something to help relax you and take all fear away. No one ought to sit in a dental chair thinking of bad childhood memories or fearing injections. If you're a dental coward, but you really do want your teeth fixed, don't wait until the pain is killing you. Come in, tell us your fears, and set up an appointment. We have convinced many that dental treatment doesn't need to be scary anymore. For your helpful dental minute, I'm Dr. Kenny Bourgeois of Paradise Smiles. You shall never know all the good a simple smile can do. Tourism Guam's number one industry. Tourism benefits our economy. Visitors come to our shores to experience our island. More tourist spending means more dollars flowing into our economy. Tourism creates jobs. From bell service to front desk to tour agents, more jobs mean more opportunities. Tourism builds businesses. From hotels to shops to restaurants. More businesses mean more dreams come true. Tourism preserves our culture. In the visitor industry, culture takes center stage. Celebrating our culture means keeping our traditions alive. Tourism keeps our land and waters clean. It all adds up. Tourism improves our quality of life. It helps make Guam a better place to live, work, and visit. Tourism works for Guam. Put $500 in your backpack during Nissan's Back to School Relief event. Purchase a new Nissan with payments starting as low as $76 per pay period and get $500 cash back. School supplies, uniforms, lunches, load it all up in a new Nissan, including the kids. With payments starting as low as $76 per pay period and with $500 cash back, you get an A+. For more Back to School deals, go to NissanGuam.com or see your favorite sales associate at Nissan Upper Tumon. Health, home, and lifestyle. News and information on wellness, health, balance, and fitness. Join Isabaza on Tuesdays for instant motivation, inspiration, and important health news from around our community. Presented by Paradise Fitness. Exercise is medicine. Guam's favorite I-94, Andy and Mariah in the AM. All right, Guam's favorite I-94, Jackie. Woo! Guam's favorite I-94. 
And before we close out the news tonight, our latest round of birthday shoutouts from the Cold Stone Creamery Birthday Club. Francis Anthony Napati Asanoma, happy birthday. May Rose Guerrero, happy birthday. Remember, you can be a part of the Cold Stone Creamery Birthday Club by registering online on KUAM.com. Please make sure to include with your photo your name and birthday. And that's all the time we have from all of us here at KUAM's News Network. Thanks for watching and have a safe weekend. Closed captioning is brought to you by IT&E Life in Motion.